debt. And that is the finding of an investigation of village finances and the spending habits of beleaguered Mayor Tiffany Henyard. The township residents are paying for her fund. Hold on to your seats, folks, because things are getting hotter than ever in the scandal surrounding Tiffany Henyard, the controversial mayor of Dalton and supervisor of Thornton Township. You won't believe the latest twists and turns in this jaw-dropping story of alleged corruption, betrayal, and possibly even criminal activity. Tiffany Henyard has been accused of embezzling public funds to fuel her extravagant lifestyle. And let's just say the walls are closing in. Several new developments in South Suburban Dalton today. First, the state comptroller has suspended some payments to the village because it has failed to follow the law by providing financial reports. But how did we get here? Well, the story starts with a stormy board of trustees meeting in Thornton Township, where tempers flared, voices were raised, and the demand for accountability was louder than ever. The township's residents, many of whom have long been frustrated with Henyard's leadership, were in an uproar, calling for answers and transparency about the misuse of their hard-earned tax dollars. It was a scene straight out of a movie with one trustee, Brittany Norwood, practically begging for financial records that Henyard had refused to provide. The last time we received the bank statement was in September of last year, and we were $7 million in debt at the time, Norwood declared, visibly exasperated. So at this current moment, we're saying, hey, where are the bank statements so we can know where we are? Coming in, I mean, unfortunately, we knew it was going to be a little messy, um, but it's just something we felt important that had to be done, that should be done. So, but like I said, yeah, just some accountability. What followed was nothing short of chaotic. Trustees and residents alike grilled Henyard about her spending, only to be met with a defensive wall. Imagine a room filled with outrage and disbelief as more details of Henyard's alleged misconduct began to emerge. Whispers about lavish spending sprees trips, funded by public money, and unauthorized expenses were just the tip of the iceberg. And just when you thought it couldn't get any more dramatic, former allies began to turn against her, one by one. Lacey is absolutely not guilty of all nine counts. I believe he's cooperating. And if you cooperate, you have to admit your guilt first. Enter Carmen Carlisle, the former assistant to Henyard and now one of her most vocal critics. Talk about a plot twist. Carlisle came out swinging, accusing Henyard of not only financial mismanagement, but also manipulating those around her to cover up her tracks. In a scathing statement to WGN, Carlisle said, Today, I'm breaking my silence and speaking out against Thornton Township Supervisor and Mayor of Dalton, Tiffany Henyard, who I believe has engaged in unethical and predatory behavior throughout her tenure. And folks, that's just the beginning. Carlisle didn't hold back. She described a culture of fear and manipulation, where anyone who dared to challenge Henyard would find themselves either marginalized or outright fired. Sometimes we get invoices, but those invoices lead to more questions. And sometimes we don't get questions, um, answers to those questions. And so it's not about clickbait. It's about just making sure the right thing is being done. But wait, there's more. Carlisle dropped another bombshell when she revealed how Henyard pressured her to lie about the controversial Tiffany Henyard Cares Foundation. Yes, that's right. A foundation that claims to help people battling cancer. The irony, Carlisle alleges that Henyard had been using foundation as a front for her own financial gain, manipulating funds to sustain her lavish lifestyle while putting up a facade of charitable work. Carlisle's statement was like throwing gasoline on a fire that was already raging out of control. For the past two years, Henyard has manipulated employees, vendors, and residents, using her position to increase her influence, all while projecting a false image of success funded by the hardworking taxpayers of Thornton Township and the village of Dalton. She continued, and just like that, the cracks in Henyard's carefully constructed image began to show. Wrong is wrong, and there's a time to hold people responsible and accountable for their actions. And it gets juicier, people. As Carlisle's revelations spread like wildfire, the village hall was practically buzzing with gossip. Residents started to connect the dots. Why did Henyard veto a resolution that would open an investigation into her own financial records? Why was there a sudden urgency to paint all the negative media coverage as fake news? One local put it bluntly, she needs to be investigated, indicted, and incarcerated for a very long time. She has totally destroyed the village of Dalton. It boggles my brain how she was able to corrupt so many others as well. I hope with all my heart that Dalton can recover from this. The way that uh, the government always does it is to go and investigate people around her, and that's what they're doing here. And then there's the FBI. Oh yes, the feds have entered the chat, and things are not looking good for Tiffany Henyard. With a federal investigation now looming over her, Henyard's every move is being watched. FBI agents have reportedly been poking around interviewing residents and even serving subpoenas. The whispers about her possible arrest are getting louder by the day. And honestly, who could blame them? When you hear stories about a mayor spending $43,000 in a single day on Amazon or splurging on first-class flights and luxury hotels, it's hard not to raise an eyebrow or two. I do not handle anything as relates to with credit cards. As you heard me speak today in my board meeting about, I do not handle that. Some of those charges are for you though. No, sir. But Henyard, in true fashion, isn't going down without a fight. 
she's been on a media blitz trying to discredit her critics and spin the narrative in her favor. She even had the audacity to suggest that this is all just a big smear campaign against a strong female leader. Really, Tiffany, is that the best you've got? In a public statement, she lashed out saying, I think I'm going to get you a new nickname, Lion Carlisle. I'm tired of everyone in here. There always has to be a show. The nerve, the nerve. Is there a motion to terminate Keith Freeman? It's almost like she's in complete denial about what's happening around her. She's been going on about how the media only focuses on the negative, ignoring the so-called positive things she's done for the community. At one point, she even ranted, it's good to see the media out here, but I wish you guys would come for the positive things and not the chaos and not the media show, because that's all that's here. I get it. We're clickbait. We're hot right now, and I get it. This is what sells papers, but I wish you guys would have come to our Easter event that we had on Sunday. But let's be real, folks. When you're under FBI investigation for embezzlement, no one cares about your Easter egg hunts. It saddens my heart that you are up here at this special meeting and not downstairs uh, where we have big bingo. The tension continued to build at the board meeting with residents demanding Henyard's resignation. You know what you're doing. You're violating our rights. And that's a shame. One resident shouted, their frustration echoing throughout the room. Another resident didn't mince words either, saying, This is a disgrace what you have done to this village. They say that you're the worst mayor in America. I agree. Fox 32 has investigated investigated Henyard's use of a police security detail, taking officers off the street and costing thousands of dollars in overtime. And if you think it couldn't get any more intense, think again. More allies started to turn their backs on Henyard. Some of her closest confidants were now airing out all the dirty laundry for everyone to see. And what's worse, Henyard's attempts to control the narrative were starting to fall apart. The very people she once trusted were now the same ones accusing her of being the architect of a corrupt administration that used taxpayer money as her personal piggy bank. Henyard's former assistant, now a whistleblower, painted a vivid picture of a leader who saw no limits when it came to her personal gain. You should pay everybody. Is it the reason why you guys are not paying uh, whatever that vendor is? What was it for? Um, it was for shirts. That's what it's for. You just got Oh, but it doesn't end there. The allegations just kept piling up. Reports came out about Tiffany Henyard allegedly harassing and intimidating those who opposed her. There were claims of her using police officers as her personal security detail, draining township resources in the process. Some even accused her of retaliating against those who spoke out, a claim that would only add more fuel to the fire that was already burning bright. The chaos at the board meeting reached a fever pitch when residents found out about the secretive subpoenas served to Henyard's office. It was like watching a live-action soap opera unfold, complete with gasps and shocked expressions from the audience. Why can't we have transparency with what's going on with our tax dollars? One constituent demanded. And honestly, can you blame them? If someone was spending your money like it was Mapley Cash, you'd want answers too? His employment. I don't believe that is legally correct. That's just not the way municipalities operate, right? So what's next for Tiffany Henyard? And let's talk about that FBI investigation for a second. When the feds come knocking, you know it's serious business. They're not just poking around for fun. They mean business. And with Henyard, they've hit the mother load of potential corruption. We're talking multiple subpoenas issued, evidence piling up, and a community in absolute turmoil, and a community in absolute turmoil over the betrayal of trust from their leader. And trust us, this is the stuff that keeps even the toughest PR teams up at night. They'll turn up more and more information. They'll turn up more leads. They may turn up more witnesses. They may find a cooperator. They may find an informant, all which will benefit the investigation tremendously. But based on what we know now, if you're Tiffany Henyard, how are you feeling? I would be nervous. But wait, the plot thickens even more. Just as the FBI was digging into her financial records, another bombshell dropped. It turns out Henyard wasn't just spending big on Amazon and luxury trips. Oh no, she allegedly went even further, tapping into township funds to pay off a lavish lifestyle that would make even the Kardashians blush. Rumor has it she's been living large, throwing around taxpayer money like it's Monopoly cash. First class flights, check. High-end hotels, you bet. Lavish dinners at the finest restaurants, absolutely. And let's not forget the thousands spent on personal security. What's she scared of? Her own shadow? I do not handle anything as relates to with credit cards. As you heard me speak today in my board meeting about, I do not handle that. Some of those charges are for you, though. No, sir. You didn't go to Las Vegas? Mm. What is that? No comment. As the investigation unfolds, more shocking details come to light. Lori Lightfoot, the former mayor of Chicago, who is now leading the probe into Henyard's affairs, did not mince words when discussing the ongoing investigation. She was clear and direct, stating, if you hear, this is fake news, it's not, it's real. This is real. Receipts for credit card purchases are really provided. 
And those receipts, our friends, are more than just pieces of paper. They're a trail of breadcrumbs leading straight to Henyard's door. I am about to address some things as the supervisor. Uh, there will be no comments. There will be anything. It'll just be me addressing you guys and telling you what's going on. It doesn't stop there. The trustees are now grappling with the fallout from Henyard's alleged alleged actions. Some of them have even started talking about the possibility of not being able to pay township employees. Can you imagine? This small town, once a quiet and peaceful community, is now drowning in debt thanks to a mayor who seems to think the village's finances are her own personal slush fund. The village of Dalton, folks, is teetering on the brink of financial collapse, and the residents are not happy about it. In fact, they're downright furious. More, Nate. That's right, John and Terrence. Tonight's meeting had a much different tone than what we've experienced previously at Dalton City Council meetings. Now, the room was full of Hingard supporters, and they wanted me to be sure to tell you that they applauded for her several times as she talked about the township being in a great place financially. Thornton Township Supervisor Tiffany Hingard. Now, the citizens of Dalton are demanding answers and demanding them fast. They want to know how a mayor could so flagrantly misuse public funds without anyone noticing for so long. Some are even pointing fingers at the local police, accusing them of turning a blind eye to Henyard's antics. After all, how else could she get away with this for so long? Some insiders are saying that the police department stocked with Henyard's allies was in on it. There are whispers of secret meetings, hushed conversations, and deals made behind closed doors. One resident who wished to remain anonymous mentioned they refused to give me the police report. We don't trust the police here. Yikes! It sounds like a plot straight out of a crime novel, doesn't it? This administration is shameful. Y'all are a disgrace. We're watching the fall of this administration. Yeah, we are. The scandal doesn't end there, folks. Oh no, there's also the little matter of her personal relationships, or should we say the lack thereof. Henyard's closest confidants are dropping like flies, distancing themselves from her like she's got the plague. Remember Louis Lacey, the deputy police chief who was once seen as one of Henyard's staunchest supporters? Well, not anymore. Lacey, now facing his own set of legal troubles, has reportedly been singing like a canary, spilling all the tea on Henyard's shady dealings to save his own skin. According to sources, Lacey was part of a bigger scheme involving bankruptcy fraud and making false statements. But the kicker is that his lawyer claims the charges against him are just a way to get him to flip on Henyard. They're going after certain people in the village to see who's going to turn on the mayor, his lawyer said. Talk about drama. All I can tell you is that I'm not the one on anything. That's all I can tell you right now. So I'm just trying to answer to the... So you're saying there's a, there's a foundation that's not registered, but it has nothing to do with you? Correct. That's true. Okay. That's so true. you're not aware of any of the work that they've done, money that they've raised, anything along those lines? Correct. And speaking of betrayals, let's not forget the bombshell revelation from Valeria Stubbs, a former village trustee and vocal critic of Henyard. Stubbs hasn't minced words either, accusing Henyard of being behind a shooting at her home. Yes, you heard that right. A shooting. Apparently, after Stubbs publicly criticized Henyard for hiring a registered offender as a village code enforcement officer, her home was riddled with bullets. Coincidence, she doesn't think so. Absolutely, she said when asked if she believed Henyard was involved. That's some next level scandal right there, folks. This is no longer just about financial mismanagement. We're talking potential criminal activity on multiple fronts. Administration can adhere to some financial limits. We're not looking to necessarily and if all of that wasn't enough, there's also the small matter of the lawsuits piling up against Henyard. It seems like every other day, another former employee or disgruntled resident is stepping forward, ready to take her down in court. One former employee even claimed she was physically assaulted by one of Henyard's trusted allies. And instead of getting support, she was allegedly told to stay silent to protect Henyard's reputation. I told her not to come to my house again under any circumstances. Stubbs had said at a public meeting, clearly fed up with the mayor's bullying tactics. What I think is interesting about this case, this story, is you can be highly legal and unethical at the same time. All these allegations and court battles are painting a picture of a woman who has not only misused her power, but may have committed actual crimes to maintain her grip on that power. This is not the kind of story that's going to go away quietly, and Henyard's every move is now being watched like a hawk. The village board has even gone so far as to appoint a mayor pro tempore, Jason House, to step in, should House, to step in should Henyard be absent or unwilling to perform her duties. This, folks, is what you call preparing for the worst. And we've learned the FBI has been using electronic surveillance as part of its investigation. Agents are asking questions about Henyard's alleged use of taxpayer dollars and resources, including massive spending on out-of-town trips. And, oh boy, speaking of the worst, 
Let's dive into some of the most explosive fan reactions that have been flooding social media. People are not holding back. One fan commented proud of no shame, no remorse of wrongdoing, perfection of a criminal. Ouch. Another timed in, no sympathy to be found here. Those people knew what they were electing and now they're crying. This is what happens when you elect people based on identity politics. People are clearly fed up and they're not afraid to express it. And let's not forget about the other trustees who are scrambling to distance themselves from the sinking ship that is Henyard's administration. They're holding emergency meetings, passing motions to block any further unauthorized spending, and some are even calling for Henyard to resign immediately. We need to put some safeguards in place to regulate what's spent on the credit card. I do not want a credit card. I do not deal with money. One trustee remarked at a recent meeting trying to regain some semblance of control over a situation that has clearly spiraled out of control. Transparency about the bills and credit cards. Tonight, Hinger did not specifically mention Washington, but in her last comments, she did address budgets for travel. You know, we have a budget for travel. I can't stand if they just put all that out there so bad for travel. And you should, for you, other cities, other uh, villages, uh, library board, park board, school board. But Henyard, in a bizarre twist, seems to be doubling down. Instead of lying low and letting things cool off, she's reportedly been seen around town with a swagger that would make you think she's untouchable. Could it be that she actually believes she can ride this one out? Or is she just trying to project confidence in the face of overwhelming odds? Some insiders suggest that she's playing a high stakes game, betting on the fact that she can manipulate her way out of this mess just as she's done in the past. But with the FBI, her former allies, and the whole town seemingly against her, it's a gamble that might not pay off this time. Very appreciative to receive the information today. Uh, we have the best mayor ever. I've been here since 1993, and she's the best we ever had. You know, you're doing a lot of programs, good programs for the, you know, the senior citizens, and you're doing a lot of programs for you know uh, people who are on a fixed budget. Mm -hmm. But what about the people, the blue collar per people who are still carrying this, you know, this town? One thing is for sure, though, this story isn't over, not by a long shot. As the investigations continue and more details emerge, it's clear that we are only just beginning to scratch the surface of what could be one of the biggest political scandals in recent memory. Will Tiffany Henyard finally face the consequences of her actions? Will her once loyal supporters continue to flip on her? And most importantly, will the residents of Dalton ever be able to trust their local government again? Stay tuned, because this is a drama that's only going to get more intense. Keep watching, keep commenting, and keep sharing your thoughts because you better believe there's more to come. And don't forget, folks, the next chapter in this saga is just around the corner, and you won't want to miss it. After all, in the world of politics and power, there's always another twist waiting just around the bend. So what do you think is going to happen next? Let us know in the comments below, and let's keep this conversation going. Until next time, 